we will soon be celebrating the festival of Hanukkah. In the Babylonian Talmud, tractate Shabbat, we read the following. During the occupation of the Holy Land, the Greeks entered the Holy Temple and defiled the oil of the menorah. When the Maccabees defeated the Greeks, a small bottle of oil was found which had evidently not been touched by the Greeks. It contained oil sufficient for only one day. The menorah was rekindled and the oil miraculously lasted for eight days until fresh oil could be prepared for the menorah. From the text of the Talmud it is clear that the defilement of oil was not accidental but intentional and systematic. A question therefore begs to be asked. If it was the intention of the Greeks to put out the menorah and prevent its rekindling why did they merely define the oil? It would have been more effective to use up the oil or to destroy it completely. But the answer is clear. By emphasizing that the Greeks defiled the oil, the Talmud indicates that the true objective of the enemy the intention of the enemy was not to prevent the rekindling of the menorah, but rather it would be kindled with defined oil. Here lies the message of Hanukkah. Hanukkah recalls the collusion of the two worlds. On the one hand, the Jewish world of faith, a way of life based on pure monotheism, and on the other hand, the Hellenistic culture with its polytheistic, largely materialistic concept of life. By force of arms, the Greeks attempted to impose their culture on all the people under their rule. Their aim was not to eradicate Jewish culture, but rather to Hellenize and assimilate it. Thus we are able to understand the special Hanukkah prayer known as al -Nisi. In it we read, O God, the Greek Empire was determined to make your people forget your Torah and transgress the mitzvot of your will. In other words, the Greeks were willing to recognize the Torah or even accept it as a perfect and beautiful literary creation. They were willing to accept that the Torah was a work of wisdom and profound philosophy, provided it was considered a human creation which could and should be changed and modified to harmonize with contemporary milieu. They were ready to rekindle the menorah, provided its, li its light came from oil which had the Greek touch. The Greeks did not understand. Indeed, they refused to understand that the menorah which was kindled with pure and consecrated oil symbolized the purity of the Jewish way of life. Its perpetual light in the temple flashed this message to every Jew, wherever they were. The Greeks were resolved at all costs to change this attitude. Unfortunately, together with the Greeks, there were many Jewish Hellenists who saw no harm in a Greek touch. Others went even further and said that a touch of the more modernistic 
and sophisticated Greek culture ought to be encouraged and applied to the Jewish life and to the Jewish faith. But a handful of Maccabees, the family of Matatiahu and his sons, whose vision had not been blurred, recognized that the Greek touch would prove a fatal blur that would strike at the roots of Judaism. In conclusion, the moral lesson is clear. What was true in those days is just as true in our day and age. Hanukkah reminds us that the greatest danger to the Jewish way of life lies not in the threat of extinguishing its light, but rather in the tendency to defile it by feeding it with unholy oil. The ten this tendency expresses itself in many ways in the worship of materialism and in material success, in the tendency to measure everything by the yardstick of human reason, all of which causes the principles of Judaism to be sacrificed to convenience and compromise. Hence, Hanukkah teaches us to uphold the sanctity and the purity of the Jewish life. We read in Maimonides that in the time to come, all the festivals will be abolished. We shall no longer celebrate Pesach, Shavuot, or Sukkot, but we shall celebrate the festival of Hanukkah forever. Why? Why is this festival of Hanukkah more important than the biblical festivals? The reason is because it was us who created this festival. It was us who created it through our belief in the divinity of the Torah. It was us who created it through our belief that every word of the Torah is sacred. It was us who created it through our faith in the Jewish way of life. Hanukkah shows us that our Jewish way of life should not be corrupted by convenience and compromise. In other words, the menorah which was rekindled with pure and consecrated oil is a visual symbol that our way of life must be based on truth, purity, and holiness. May God help us to understand fully the message of Hanukkah. Amen.